Mr. Chief Justice. The Senator from Oklahoma. Mr. Chief Justice, I sent a question to the desk on behalf of myself, Senator Ernst and Senator Crapo. Thank you. The question from Senator Langford and the other senators is for the counsel for the president. House managers have described any delay in military aid and State Department funds to Ukraine in 2019 as a cause to believe there was a secret scheme or quid pro quo by the president. In 2019, 86 percent of the DOD funds were obligated to Ukraine in September, but in 2018, 67 percent of the funds were obligated in September, and in 2017, 73 percent of the funds were obligated in September. In the State Department, the funds were obligated September 30 in 2019, but they were obligated September 28 in 2018. Each year, the vast majority of the funds were obligated in the final month or days of the fiscal year. Was there, <coughs> excuse me, was there a national security risk to Ukraine or the United States from the funds going out at the end of September in the two previous years? Did it weaken our relationship with Ukraine because the vast majority of our aid was released in September each of the last three years? Mr. Chief Justice, uh, Senators, thank you for that question. And the short, straightforward answer is there was no jeopardy to the national security interest of the United States from the timing of the release of this money. As the question indicated, uh, the vast bulk of funds in each of the prior two fiscal years were also obligated in September. Uh, so the fact that the, the funds were released here on September 11th and obligated by the end of the fiscal year was consistent with the timing in past years. There was, and it is also the case that at the end of every fiscal year there is some funding uh, in this Ukrainian military assistance that doesn't actually make it out the door, that isn't obligated by the end of the fiscal year. We've heard the House managers point to the fact that Congress had to put something in the continuing resolution, a special provision to get $35 million of the aid extended so it could be used in the next fiscal year. My understanding is that every fiscal year there's some amount of money. It's not always that, that same amount, but there's some amount of money that that has to be done for every year because it doesn't get out the door by the end of the year. Now, it's not just from the raw data that we can see that the funds went out roughly the same timing towards the end of the year that therefore it doesn't suggest any great risk to Ukraine or risk to the national security of the United States. We know that from testimony as well. Ambassador Volker testified that the brief pause on the aid was not significant. And Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs David Hale explained that this is future assistance. And I mentioned this the other day. It's not like this money is being uh, spent month by month to supply current needs in the Ukraine. It's five-year money. Once, once it is obligated, it can go to U.S. firms who are providing material to the Ukrainians, and it doesn't get spent down finally and material shipped to Ukraine for a long time. So a delay of 48 or 55 days, depending on how you count it, and the money being released before the end of the fiscal year ends up having no real effect. It's not current money that's supplying immediate needs, despite what we've heard about the, the idea that on the front lines in the Donbass, Ukrainian soldiers are being put at risk. That's just not accurate. And we know that also from uh, Ola Sevchuk, the Ukrainian Deputy Minister of Defense, who gave an interview to the New York Times and explained that the hold came and went so quickly that he didn't even notice any change. And remember, the Ukrainians didn't even know. President Zelensky and his advisors, Yermak and others, have made it abundantly clear. There was another interview just the other day with um, Daniluk, who 
I might get his title wrong. I think he was the foreign minister at the time. But um, there was an interview just the other day that was published, and he explained again that they didn't know the aid had been held up until the political article on August 28th. And then he said there was a panic in Kiev because they were just trying to figure out what to do. Well, within two weeks, it had been released. And so we've also heard the idea that, well, it was just the fact of the delay that gave the Russians a signal and it gave the Ukrainians a signal, and that was what the damage to national security was. But the whole point is the leaders of the government in Ukraine didn't know. It wasn't made public. So they weren't being given a signal by that, and the Russians weren't being given a signal by that. So that theory for damage to the national security also doesn't work. There was a pause temporarily so that there could be some assessment to address concerns the president had raised. The money was released by the end of the fiscal year. There was no damage to the national security, either in terms of materiel not being available to the Ukrainians or in terms of any signal sent to any foreign power. The money got out the door roughly the same time as in prior years. A little bit more left over at the end that had to be fixed, but there's some left over at the end every year that has to be fixed with a rider on the next appropriations bill or continuing resolution. So no damage whatsoever to the national security of the United States. Thank you. Thank you, counsel.